Now, this guidance here, Ikhwan, of the Quran, has to be easy to understand, and it has to be clear. It cannot be ambiguous. Because if it is ambiguous, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not establish his proof on the day of judgment against people. لِأَلَّا يَكُونَ لِلنَّاسِ عَلَى اللَّهِ حُجَّةٌ بَعْدَ الرُّسُلِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fair. He will not treat anyone with injustice on the day of judgment. So he sent the book, the last final message to humanity, which is the Quran, and it has to be clear, and he said it is clear. I want you to pay attention to this, because there are people who said, no, not everyone is able to understand the Quran. Not everyone has access to the knowledge of the Quran. That's not true. What is the proof? There are many proofs. You go to Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah talking about Ramadan, Shah Ramadan. Shah Ramadan al-ladhi unzila fihi al-Quran. Hudan lil-nas. Wa bayinatin, bayinatin min al-huda wal-furqan. So he said, Ramadan is a month in which the Quran was revealed. Shahru Ramadan al-ladhi unzila fihi al-Quran. Hudan lil-nas. Al-nas, people. As a guidance for humanity. Not a small group of people. He didn't say it's a guidance only for the family of the Prophet. They are the ones who will understand the Quran and pass the message to other people. Or hide it and give this this this. This hidayah to only a small group of people. Out of 1.5 billion of Muslims in the world, only 15 million people will have get access to this hidayah. Is that fair? Is this the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the guidance, the mercy that we expect from Allah? Allah wants everyone to be saved. He sent this Quran to save humanity. When Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam started preaching, Publicly, the first thing he said, he started talking to his family members in Mecca, Banu Hashim. And then he mentioned the name of his daughter, Fatima. He said, Ya Fatima, anqidhi nafsaki min nar He said, Oh Fatima, save yourself from the punishment of hellfire. I will not benefit you on the day of judgment. That means if you don't believe, I will not benefit you. He will not benefit his uncle Abu Lahab. Abu Lahab, Allah said about the Quran that he will be in hellfire. And he was the uncle of the Prophet. So he's not about his family. Abu Talib who supported the Prophet. Supported the Prophet and he was a very nice man. Unfortunately at the, the time of death he decided to choose the religion of his ancestors. And he refused to say la ilaha illallah. Abu Talib who was another uncle of the Prophet. It's a very sad story, but this is the reality. We don't make the rules. Allah made the rules. That the believers will be in Jannah, the disbelievers will be in hellfire. Ibrahim alayhi a great messenger of Allah. Great messenger of Allah. Ibrahim, his father will be in hellfire because he died as a disbeliever. We don't make the rules. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made these rules. So here the Allah is saying about the Quran, a guidance for humanity, and he said, Bayinatin min al huda. Pay attention to this. This is the speech of Allah, not my speech. Bayinatin min al huda. Clear proofs of guidance. Clear proofs of guidance. This is how Allah described the Quran. That the guidance is very clear. And it's made clear, easy to understand for everyone who wants. Those people who want to learn. Those who turn away from the book and say, no, I have another source of guidance. That's a different story. These people will take a different path. But those who choose this book, it's still available with, with us today. And it's been translated in many languages. There is no excuse. I have seen many languages. I, I have seen this Quran translated in Albanian language, in Somali language, in Urdu, in Swahili, in different languages. Nowadays, no one has an excuse. 
And English is an international language. Uh, English translations are available. There are tens of English translations. Yes, they don't convey the exact message like the Arabic, but the Arabic Quran is available and preserved for those who want to learn the Arabic. The message is preserved. It's not a weird language. It's not a secret language. It's not a book that is very secretive and only some people have access to it. The people, the holy people, or religious leader have access to it. And they are the only one who have access to this book. And they choose and they select what to tell people. No one has the right to use this book. There are people in some religions, yes? They don't share everything with their followers. But the Quran is available. It is accessible easy to understand. You just have to go back to it, open the book and understand the message. You don't have to be a scholar to understand the Quran. Yes, there are many ayat that need to be interpreted and explained by Muslim scholars, but there are many verses, especially about the tenets of faith. They are very clear. The main tenets of faith, they are very clear.